Welcome back to the Boxing Bookie. It is good to be back. Uh, we're going to do one by demand today. Uh, we're getting a lot of uh, a lot of requests for uh, Troy Williamson versus Kevin. I, I, I'm going to – I can get the last name. The first name, Kevin. I, I know it's Gaelic for Kevin. Uh, Ajako. Uh, Troy Williamson and Ajako, uh, which is uh, December 2nd at Belfast, in Belfast. Um, on the Conlon Jordan Gill card. So we're going to get into that. Before we do, please like, share, and subscribe. Follow the Boxing Bookie on all forms of social media at 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog. Um, bring down the house with us. I don't gamble, but I'm going to show you how to make money um, on every single big fight, including this one. If you guys have requests, fights you want me to look at, let me know. I'm going to do the Jorge Castaneda fight later today on the Pro Box fight uh, with, with Orlando Gonzalez on Pro Box TV. Uh, but remember, I don't gamble, but I'm going to show you how to consistently make money and bring down the house on, on boxing. Um, the bookies, the odds makers, they don't know what they're doing. They don't know how to handicap the sport. I do. We were three for four again last week. We were absolutely killing it. Uh, this is a tough week, but I'm going to show you how to make money. There's always a bull market somewhere. Uh, we're going to do four fights this week. Uh, I, I'm, I'm, if you continue to bet with me, I'm going to show you how to make a second source of income. Um also, subscribe to our other channel, Texas Boxing Scene, on YouTube. That's Texas Boxing Scene. All proceeds go to Autism Research and Recovery. All right, y'all. Let's get into today's show. Um, and the odds on this are moving quick, quick, quick. Um, they've moved twice since I looked at it yesterday in favor of a Jocko. Um, I, I guess heavy money is coming in from a Jocko. When I first looked at this, by someone asked me in 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 in, in the chats, uh, in the in the comments. Uh, who I like to win. And I originally said, I think Williamson, but I'm going to look at some tape. I've changed my mind on that. Um, look, uh, Ajako has not fought anyone at a world-class level. Troy Williamson has fought Josh Kelly. And Josh Kelly dominated and won every round. Uh, besides that, he hasn't fought anyone at a world-class level. He's got solid wins over Cheeseman, Kieran Smith, Harry Scarf, Mason Cartwright. So from 20 to 20... From late 2020 to early 2022, he had a four-fight streak, which was really good. And then he stepped up. Well, he got a win over someone else in, in, in the arm, too. But then he stepped up and fought Josh Kelly uh, in the winter of 2022, and, and you know, he, he was exposed. Um, and there's a lot to expose him. He fights out of the high guard. He can be out quick. And Ajako is quicker than him. He's, he's a lower-volume fighter. He, he doesn't throw much. Uh, he doesn't really come out of his shell. I know he's got some knockouts, specifically over Ted Cheeseman with the left hook. Um, I don't think he's a big puncher. I understand his KO percentage is pretty good. He's got 14 knockouts and 20 fights. Um, I don't think he's got a whole a whole bunch of pop. And actually, a Jocko's pop is probably underrated after watching a couple of his fights. Um, Williams is mostly flat-footed. He doesn't really change anything. He's just kind of who he is round after round. If you can figure him out, you can have him. Um, you can beat him with volume. You can beat him with speed. He's simple. Um, he's straightforward. He is physically strong and big. He's 5'11". Jock is only 5'7". He's going to be the biggest, stronger man in the ring, I think. And that's kind of his path to victory. Um, he wants to make the fight on the inside. Uh, and he has trouble with movers. Right? He definitely... Has trouble with movers. Ajako can move, but he can fight forward. He can kind of do both. And I, I would say if I'm training Ajako, you're, we're going backwards. We're going to be up the back foot. We're going to move. Right? Ajako is quicker. He's a better athlete. He's got the twitching muscle. He throws in combination more, and he can fire off combination. He's going to win the. He's going to win rounds just on volume, right? Because. Um, when, when 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 comes in, he comes up high guard and, and and he can't really count. He doesn't punch in between your punches. He goes, you go, I go, and he doesn't throw that much, right? He can be had in a decision. You can outpoint him because <clears throat> he doesn't throw a lot and he doesn't. And everything is why he doesn't really throw straight punches, right? But, you know, um, he doesn't use his jab enough. He doesn't do so many things you wish he would do, and that's why he's not a world class fighter. 
<clears throat> he's athletic to a degree. He's not a super athlete. He's nothing like that. Again, he's probably got a little bit of pop. I, I wouldn't say his, his pop is anything you have to really be concerned about. Uh, like he doesn't punch super straight. Uh, and it, he's just at this level. And we're going to find out if um, Ajako is at this level or not. Right, we're gonna we're gonna find out whether or not this is this is where he belongs, but I, I think either way, Jack is gonna have enough to outwork, outpace, and outbox um, Troy Williamson. Uh, I, I said the odds have moved twice, and I think when people do go back and watch the footage, right, like at first it's okay. Um, Williamson's got a KO victory over Cheeseman. He's got a loss to a world class fighter, and Jocko's fought basically no one of note. Uh, probably lean towards Williamson because he's got the experience. He can he showed that he can do it at, at a high level with Cheeseman. But then you go back and watch it. He's so flawed. And Jocko is such a better fighter, right? Fundamentally, he's better, right? He, what I do like about him is he doesn't pull straight backwards. He comes to the side where he's not easy to hit. Um, he, again, when you when you like Williamson, you're just in the high guard coming forward. Even if the shots aren't landing cleanly, they're catching the attention of the judges, right? Like if you just eating shots like that, it doesn't look good. And like I said, he can lose, he can be had. And it's much more difficult to win rounds, to put rounds in the bank. So unless you think this fight's going to go the distance, and I definitely think this fight, unless you don't think the fight's going to go the distance, unless you think um, you're buying into Williamson's power more than I am, and you think Williamson can stop him, which I like he can stop him. He stopped Cheeseman. I just don't think that's going to happen. He doesn't throw enough. He's not going to set anything up. Um, I, I think Jocko is much more elusive than Cheeseman. And I really want to see what he does at this level. And I saw that Jocko's only five foot seven. Right? He, he fights a lot taller than that. Um, and, and the other thing about Jocko is he wants to fight uh, about uh, Williams is he he wants to fight on the inside, but he's not really. He doesn't have the skills on the inside, right? Like he doesn't have. Footwork to work the angles. He doesn't have a barrage of punches on the inside. He, like he's just kind of, ah, you know, I, I'm not exactly sure how he won these fights, right? He did win them, so it's all that matters. Uh, but I, I think this is a step up. I, I think this is a much classier fighter. I think this is a better boxer. Um, you know, can we classify Ajako as a boxer puncher? Is that how we would classify him? He's not really a. He's a good athlete, right? But his style is, is more similar to the Charlo brothers. But yes, he's a good athlete, but he's not just off the back foot, moving, 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 right? Like he, he'll come forward. He can do that, but he'll come forward. He looks to hit. He, he, he looks to crack you. Uh, he goes to the body pretty well. So everything just adds up here. And I, I think this is why we're seeing the line move. But I'm going to take a Jocko and let, let's, let's pull up the odds. I'm going to show you how we're going to make some money on this fight. Um, it's not a huge fight, so there's not a lot of props, but. You know, and, and the line is moving, unfortunately. It started at minus 130, then it went to minus 160, and now we're at minus 170. Um, so I'm going to take a Jocko with a one times bet. A $100 bet is going to make you about 60 bucks. This is what we got. Again, we're not getting rich off this fight, but it's a good fight to make money on. Uh, a Jocko is, is going to win the fight. Um, he, he, he's a classier, better fighter. He's got more skills. He's got more paths to victory. And I don't think there's going to be much of a difference in, 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 in their pop. I think one guy's got underrated pop. One guy's got overrated pop. And when we meet up, they're going to be somewhere in the middle. Um, so that's how I see this going. Let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Follow 3D Boxing, 3D Boxing Blog, and all forms of social media. The Boxing Bookie comes at you for every major fight to show you how to bring down the house. We always use DraftKings. I like the user face. It gives you pretty good odds. Uh, but let me know what you guys think. Leave your thoughts, comments below. Please also subscribe to the other channel, Texas Boxing Scene on YouTube. All proceeds from that channel are going to go to Autism Research and Recovery. It is November 28th, 2023 from Texas to the world. Thank you, and God bless. Don't miss a tweet, post, story, or video. 3D Boxing is on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Hit the subscribe.